Our world is reaching a tipping point. In the past hundred years alone, the planet's population has quadrupled to a staggering seven billion people. With that population explosion, we've seen a 90% reduction in large ocean fish and a 50% loss of the world's rainforests. At the same time, technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace, adding a new layer of complexity to our already strained resources. These challenges will require our best minds, hearts, and hands. And how we educate young people today will directly impact the quality of life for future generations. We're beginning to understand the interconnectedness of all life. That if we destroy the very land we're standing on, it has consequences, and not just for those whose land it is, but has adverse consequences right across the world. Humans are in fact part of the environment, and by studying the environment, we gain a better understanding of why we do the things the way we do. Bishop O'Dowd High School has always fostered ways to help its students develop a kinship with creation. Through our innovative programs, we strive to mold tomorrow's leaders, an investment in youth, an investment in the next generation. Back in 1970, a beloved science teacher named Brad Goodhart, who went on to inspire generations of O'Dowd students, pioneered one of the first environmental studies classes in the nation. One of the things that I was most pleased with is that after my first year at O'Dowd, uh, they let me propose uh, design and teach a course uh, called Environmental Studies. I tried to give my students the idea that we're one small, self-contained little planet. There's more of us every year and just the same resources to go around. We should do whatever we can to inspire students at the high school level because for a lot of people, this is the last time they'll take a general interest science class. The legacy Brad started came to fruition in the year 2000, when the imaginations of students in Annie Prutzman's environmental science class inspired teachers and parents. With that, the work began restoring an eroded wasteland of weeds and refuse into a sanctuary for nature and people. Since then, their continued hard work has transformed these acres into the Living Lab, a certified wildlife habitat and outdoor classroom filled with native plants, trees, a fruit orchard, vegetable garden, waterfall, and pond. I've spent the better part of three decades of my professional life here at O'Dowd. And during that time, I've really worked hard to find ways to make that connection so that what goes on in the classroom speaks naturally and directly to the world beyond it. Guided by the passion of its faculty and students, and by its commitment to excellence and innovation in science education, O'Dowd has now pledged to take a bold step to expand the Living Lab into a comprehensive program, the Center for Environmental Studies. What students need today is a job in the future. Our Environmental Science Center is providing students with skills, hands-on experience that is gonna take them straight into future careers. We have unique strengths with our Environmental Science Center. Students will be getting the hands-on direct experience with green technology, environmental engineering, toxic remediation, water treatment, zero carbon footprint management of buildings, and learning about taking care of our ecosystem.
Taking Annie's class definitely made me realize that I wanted to spend my career working on environmental issues. And I know that kind of sounds crazy when you're 17 years old that you know what you want to do. High school is a turning point in people's lives. They start to think about and decide who they want to be and what they want to do. No doubt has a great spirit of service and engagement with the community. This center will be a resource for the entire Bay Area, providing space for public forums, guest lectures, and summer academy offerings for middle and high school students. So this is about putting people and planet first. How we look to our own flow of money, our legacy, our investment in what we want the beautiful new world to be. How we actually put in place that which will help the next generation grow and learn about the new solutions and how we infect them with the desire to be part of the solution, to be part of the new world. I really like the outdoors, the environment, and so that was kind of just like the beginning of my like science environmental journey here at O'Dowd. It'll be a nice place to go to learn rather than just like in your regular classroom. It'll be this nice new building and you're right in the living lab with all these cool different kind of additions, I guess. So I think that's neat. The work that will emerge from the Environmental Science Center is the real world. It's hands-on. And this is your legacy for the future students at O'Dowd, for generations of future students, and for the future. That legacy is an important part of what O'Dowd stands for. It's one of the signature programs at our school. So we see this project as being the next step in that evolution and kind of a crowning glory for all the work that has preceded it in the past five decades. We need every young person who's going through high school today to feel a connection to their environment and hopefully want to be a part of the solution. There's a fine line between learning in a way that makes you feel despair and learning in a way that empowers you to make a difference. The Center for Environmental Studies would be a place to harvest young, creative minds who will make a change and who will make a difference and who will partner with other communities and other schools to create similar opportunities for everyone so that we can unite and really create and generate a positive front to tackle all the environmental and social issues. We've already had international organizations come to us and say, we like what you're doing with your students, how you're integrating outside the classroom, beyond the classroom. Graduates of our environmental program are already making an impact around the world. I really hope to, um, in the future, inform other people and teach people how we can help save our planet and make it a more beautiful and better place for all of us to live in.